What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Aaron Thorogood, and I want to welcome each and every one of you all to another video of The Tribe of Adam. First and foremost, if you have not already, like, share, and subscribe to The Tribe of Adam. You already know what you got to do. Go like this video, share this video, and the most important thing, go subscribe to the channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today, 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 I am stoked all of the above. I am back here in Orlando, Florida. I'm actually headed to Epcot today for the Flower and Garden Festival. So, from my hotel, I can actually walk to Disney Springs from my hotel because my hotel is located in the Disney Springs area. So with that being said, I can easily just walk to Disney Springs, catch the bus over to Di uh, Epcot and to all the other parks and just have an enjoyable time. So as you all can see right now, I'm just walking. Like I said, I forgot my sunshades. If you all watched that other video of my hotel tour and uh, not only my hotel tour, but my airport travel, I did explain to you all that I left my sunglasses back in Virginia, so I'm gonna have to buy some while I'm here, which is no big deal. But y'all, I'm just I'm just so happy to be here. Y'all already know Disney World. Who this sun? Good grief! Disney World is my favorite place in the whole wide world, and uh, I'm just about to enjoy myself. So yeah, let's go over to Epcot and let's have a good old time. Here we go. Okay, so just to give you all a little bit of wayfinding of what I'm doing today, I'm actually about to catch the bus to the Contemporary Resort, and from the Contemporary Resort, I'm gonna head back over to Epcot. That's how I'm gonna play this game today. Um, so, let's go over to, we're gonna walk past World of Disney, um, and then we're gonna get it on a bus to go to Contemporary, so let's go do it. All right, so we're about to get on the Moana bus. Here we go, this is the first time I've seen this one. I'm pretty sure it's not new, it's just new to me. But we're headed to the Contemporary Resort, my favorite resort. And uh, soon in the future, I'm actually gonna stay there. But let's get on this bus. Man. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, right now I am inside of Disney's Contemporary Resort. Mm -hmm. Y'all just don't know how touched I am. Yep. I had to make sure more nobody behind me. Y'all just don't know. Oh, how good it feels to be back in here. Look at Fantasia. So I'm not gonna go in the store right now because I'm going with Here comes the monorail. So much construction going on. But look at Spaceship Earth. It's still beautiful. The last time I saw you was two years ago. It still looked really beautiful. Go ahead on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here once again inside of Disney's Epcot Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you all something. This is a full circle moment for me because last, well, two years ago, this was the last park I ended my vacation on two years ago in 2020. However, this is the first park that I'm starting my vacation off in 2022. So y'all, it's a full circle moment and we starting it off with the uh, festival. I mean, the um, yeah, no, what is it? The Flower and Garden Festival. So y'all look at Spaceship Earth. I just, oh my, y'all, mm, 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 y'all just don't know. So first, I don't know if y'all can hear me because it's very windy, but first I have to stop inside of this customer's uh, store to see if they still sell battery packs because my phone is getting ready to die. All right, so I'm just getting my battery pack, like I said. Hold on, let me, I need both hands. There she blows, just got me a battery pack. About to use it so I can charge my phone up because I cannot have my phone dying out here. So as I stated, of course, I have not been here in two years, but I have been keeping up with the different Epcot and just Disney World news in general. So you all know that they're coming along with this new Guardians of the Galaxy right here in Epcot. First time seeing it, I don't even know what that ship is called, but they're coming along with it. And I'm excited when it first opened, I'm going to be here, shoot, I'll tell you that much. So on the way out, I'm actually going to stop inside of the creation shop, which used to be Mouse Gears, to get some merchandise because I did see a couple of merchandise items from uh, Tim Tracker's vlog that I wanted to get. So I will be stopping back in there once I finish my uh, you know what I mean, my Ratatouille adventure, y'all already know. I, that's where I'm headed because that's the newest ride here. But I have to stop in there to see exactly what I want. Y'all know every year I try to collect the top of the year truck that they do. I collect those. So I'm going to go in there and get that if they have it in there and see what else they have. But let's continue on. We're about to have fun, man. I'm excited. Also, not only am I, am I going to be stopping at Ratatouille's uh, adventure or Remy's Ratatouille adventure, I'm also, the, the like I said, the Festival of the Arts is... I'm, is going, I mean not festival, I keep saying that, the Flower and Garden Festival is going on. So with that being said, 
I'm gonna stop inside of uh, the different booths and try different foods around the world. Let's do, man, let's do this thing, man. We're gonna do it, let's do it. First looks, we gotta get a good look at the topiaries that they have for the Flower and Garden Festival. You got Daisy, you got them three, his three nephews, Donald's three nephews, you got Donald in the back, and then you got the Star Attraction, Mickey and Minnie. Look at that. There's Figment with the 50th medallion right there. A couple of days ago, well, a couple of weeks ago, they were selling the Figment popcorn container, which was a sellout. But there's Figment. Here's another topiary. There is Sorcerer Mickey. And then those, uh, those broomsticks and the little ostriches from Fantasia. Those topiaries look so real and defined. Go ahead on. There's Miguel, and I think the dog's name was Jorge or something like that. But there they are, his spirit animal, and then there's Miguel. Go ahead on. Man, I'm excited to be here, man. Look at these statues. So look at this Beauty and the Beast topiary. Beautiful. But, ladies and gentlemen, ahead, let's enter into Paris. Here we go. I'm trying to get my uh, France accent, or Paris accent, however you want to say it. But, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say, how, what I'm trying to do. But let's enter to the streets of Paris. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> But y'all so excited. Anyone can cook. Chef Gusto. Look at him sitting up there looking like a reverend. <laughs> but y'all, we about to head into Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. And I love, like I always say, now see y'all, y'all don't be paying me no mind, but I say it all the time. I love the way how Disney just, just incorporates their such detail in their tapestry and their work of art. They incorporate so much detail. And that's why they're the best thing part in the entire world. Say what you want. I absolutely love it. First time here uh, to this new attraction that Epcot has. It's, it is the newest attraction that's open right now. I'm excited, y'all. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as y'all can see on the wall, instead of the hidden Mickeys, they got hidden Remy's. Go ahead on. It's not hidden Mickey, but it's hidden Remy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we just entered into Gusto's, and as y'all can see, like I always say, their detail. Look at the three stars. Remember when they, uh, when the health inspector came to the restaurant and they finally, uh, when well, he finally uh, came clean about uh, Remy and they lost the stars on the end? That's what it happened. Only three stars and then they eventually closed down, but they ain't closing out of the day. They better not close down, shoot. <laughs> Such great detail. It looks like we're like on like the rooftop of like a French house in Paris. Like I love the detail. Look at the windows are right there. It's kind of cracked open. And I showed you all, like I said, Gusto up there. There's his restaurant. It, it's so nice. And then I didn't even take a look. It's a little bit dark, but the starry sky above. There's Gusto talking again. I can't even hear what he's saying, but he's saying something. Over here is a little artiste corner. It's so much detail over here. Like it's so much detail. Look at that aged cheese over there. That aged cheese look delicious. They got aged cheese, bread, a tomato, a carrot. The laboratory and of an artiste. You must be an artiste to sit in this chair and carry this briefcase. <laughs> Can you see this? We are almost to the riding vehicle. Anytime you see this. All right, let's pick up our 3D glasses. There we go. Got mine right there. Here comes our riding vehicle. A big red. Think this one is ours. Yep. Here we go. Oh, getting on it. Here we go. Chef Lenny is waiting for you. Oh, yes, they are. Les amis, pour le guide. Yes, but come here. 
Just got off of Remy's Ratatouille adventure. If I can be 100% honest, it wasn't worth a 75 minute wait. For, to, in my opinion, the best part of that ride, and I don't know if y'all can hear me, but while on the ride, I was like, oh, it smells good in here, was the part when we dropped down in Remy's kitchen. And it, you can literally smell the smell of like good Paris food, like good French food. Like I know what that smells like, because I've never been to Paris. but. That gave me an idea of what it might smell like. That was the best part of the ride. But in all actuality, I probably wouldn't get up there again. That's just my opinion, like I said. I mean, overall, I would rate the ride. Out of a 10, I would rate that ride probably a, mm, I would probably say a five out of 10. It, it, I, at most, a 4.5 out of 10. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. But like I said, I tried it. First, it was a new, the newest ride that Disney had to offer. I tried it, so. That's all that matters. So let's continue on. Let's go get something to eat now because I am hungry. So you all know we have to come out here and look at the merchandise. And this is the uh, Emil rat that can crawl around on your shirt for $34 right here. Then they have a little, I don't think this is Ratatouille theme. I just, I think this is just more so the culture of Paris. Nice yellow and blue dress. 
So they have the little Remy purse, and then the Remy ears right here. It's a nice Remy shirt, but y'all, something caught my eye, and I'm going to get it. It's the Remy cooking, the chef coat. And I'm going to go ahead and get it. I know y'all can hardly see the back, but I'll show y'all once I can get a better view. They have Remy ornaments. And y'all already know, I like my cups. They have a Mickey suit, I mean a Mickey, a Remy suit cup for $22. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, as y'all can see, I'm inside of a gift shop. I'm actually inside of uh, the Epcot Celebration Store, which used to be Mouse Gears. But unfortunately, it rained, as you all can tell. It like literally poured down and Epcot, all of Epcot flooded and like in the process, my camera got wet. So once my camera got wet, I guess it did something to the audio. But like I said, I was just on the inside of the Celebration store and I was just gonna peruse around and just get, you know, some different merchandise and show you all in the process, everything that I see. Uh, like I said, the audio went bad, but let's do it. So first of all, I, I love this shirt. This was a pain and panic shirt, I believe it was. And it was, it says original baddies. And I absolutely love this shirt. I didn't get it, but I did love this shirt. And then over here, I see that the hat and your pass holders hat, which I like. It was very nice, simple and black. And then they had the uh, plaque that's in the front of Main Street. Um, that hat, I didn't get that hat, but I did like it. So I thought I'll show you all that. It was very nice and cool. They had different hats that you can choose from, different selections. It says more Disney, more dogs. Amazing, good stuff. Like I said, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I actually bought this hat right here. And then over here was the monorail. Now for the 50th celebration, they had a monorail for $124, $125 rounding up. But I did really like this monorail set. And I was gonna get it, but I didn't get it. But I should have got it because I absolutely love train sets. And then I did get this. This was the scream can from Monsters Inc. You all know that it was amazing. Y'all know I collect cups and it looked like it's a whole bunch of drinks. So I did get that. Now y'all know I had to look at my Toy Story stuff like there's Buzz Lightyear, there's Jesse and Woody and coming outside of the celebration store is the Epcot ball. Just look, oh, just look at those colors, man. It was, it was amazing. I, I love it. So ladies and gentlemen, as you all can see, I am back here at the monorail station. Like I said, my camera was still messed up and the audio was still messed up on it, but Unfortunately, you all, I didn't get a chance to really do everything that I desired to do at Epcot because it rained so bad and it actually started to flood like the water was like up to my shin. So it was horrible. So I was like, I'm just going to call it in and go back to my hotel. Luckily, I did get a chance to stop in the celebration store to buy my merchandise and the different things that I did see that I like. As you all can see, my merchandise bag right there. But I didn't get a chance to do all of what Epcot had to offer. But that was a good day at Epcot. It was what it was. So in all, had a good time. And as I always say, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you stay tuned, stay lit, and stay live with the Tribe of Adam. And make sure you pay attention because we're about to have some good vlogs coming to you all for this trip. Like I said, I enjoyed my time and it was such a good time there. Like I said, even though it rained on my first day, I still had a good time riding Remy's ride. I still had a good time uh, just walking through Epcot before it started raining. After the rain, it was kind of a drag, but it was what it was. And I was just glad to be there and just among everybody and seeing Disney and, and just being in Epcot. That's like like the, the cream of the crop, as I will always say. But as I always say, I'm going to say it again. Stay tuned, stay lit, and stay live with Tribe of Adam. All right, so this is what I finally got to eat after a long period of time, but it's the buttermilk chicken breast with mashed potatoes, corn, salsa, with black beans, and it has like a butter sauce from Bahama Breeze. It's delicious. And then I also got some beef empanadas. They are delicious. And like I said, I'm not gonna show you all what I look like because I need a haircut, which I'm gonna cut my own hair tomorrow. So uh, I'll be looking uh, I'll be looking better than today I wore a hat all day, but it's the food. So y'all, like I said, today's this, today, <laughs> this is the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. But until next time, as I always say, stay tuned, stay lit, stay live with the Tribe of Adam. Peace.